All right, first things first. This place is usually very quiet, except for the birds, which you can always hear in my videos. They're pretty noisy right now because it's almost sunset and they go berserk. Also, my neighbor is running a generator all day. And because this is so quiet here, you can hear everything. And it's kind of a, can't wait for him to stop it, but. Anyway, that's that sort of like white noise in the background you might be able to hear in the video. I, I don't have a, a proper mic yet. Eventually, I'll have one. I'm recording this with my iPhone. Uh, I'll use a, a Canon 6D sometimes, which is good, but the, um, the autofocus is not that great. My son has a Rebel, which the autofocus, at least that one has autofocus, so it's not, re it's not good at all. So. So I'm hoping the audio is pretty good. I, I tend to adjust the audio in post uh, until I get a good lapel mic or something like that. But anyway, uh, the reason I'm I'm making this video is I was flying earlier doing some tuning and I thought came to my head about reverse props versus normal props. So let's I want to talk to you about that. Um, right here I have a Hyperlow RS Plus which right now it's my go-to freestyle quad or versions of this at least this particular one I just finished building it the other day oh, I see I already gave it a prop smack on there um, anyway um, this one is running flight one with the new Falco X firmware normally what I do in terms of free uh, prop direction is for freestyle I run props in normal props and for racing I'll run props out which is reverse props uh, uh, for you guys that don't know the difference most of you guys do I'll explain it in a second but uh, on this guy even though it's freestyle I'm running props out reverse props mainly because I've done it before on a couple of freestyle quads but I was watching the video about Falco X and Preston was saying how he recommends props out. I've had great success with props out in the past. So I said, you know, let's just do it. Which is what got me thinking about this video. See, since I run some quads props in and some quads prop out, reverse props, I tend to have a little system so I don't forget. What I do is all my freestyle quads are props in, which is normal props and all the racing quads, props out, which is reverse props. Except I've tested here and there with reverse props on freestyle before, but not much until now. And that was my little system, so I would remember, you know, not to screw it up. So for example, this guy here is breaking the mold. I am flying props out for freestyle. Uh, this season, even though I'm not really a good racer, uh, mainly because I can't get out of my head when I'm when I'm racing like if I'm practicing or with my friends I tend to do pretty well but then when I go to an actual event I fall apart because I can't really get out out of my own head so but I still like to race every once in a while so this is what I'm racing this season it's a, a FPB flight club neutron with a hybrid setup which it has five X arms no five stretch arms on the front and then six inch X arms on the back yeah, uh, most of you guys know I mostly fly Hyperlows and I've been doing so for a long time back since Richard started this thing. But I'd like to try different things and right now I wanted to try bottom out this year. So I'm, I picked the Neutron for many different reasons. One, because I wanted to do 20 by 20. But that's a different scope, not for this video. We're talking about props out and props in. So this racer, like all my racers, has the props spinning reverse. Whereas if it were normal props, they would be spinning in. So there, there's a couple of different ways to remember the difference. I like to remember it like this. Obviously, if the props are pushing out, the blade height, the, the high side of the blade needs to be out, outwards. Same thing here. And the way I like to think about it is props out is like a swimmer that pushes the water out. And a good thing to remember is when you turn it around, even though this is the back, it should be the same thing. You go out. So think of a swimmer pushing out, that is props out. Now, like a dog, when it's, when it's swimming, it kind of goes like that, but think about it going in. That would be props in. Even though both of these quads have props out, 
if the high side of the blade were in the inside, it would be pushing in, and on the other side, pushing in. Um, so yeah, like this is props normal in, and then props out, it's like swimming out. I'm not gonna get too much into the pros and cons about the differences. There's people that say, oh, it keeps the lens cleaner, this and that. Um, and some people say, oh, props in, gets, shoots everything into the flight controller. And then Joshua Bartwell the other day was saying that he believes it the other way around because when you're upside down, you're turtle mode, the props spin the opposite direction. So if you uh, run props out, which pushes everything away from the lens and you do a turtle mode, then you're tossing all the grass into your lens. That depends on what you do, how much you turtle mode, all that kind of stuff. The main benefit of plop props out is if you hit something, it'll push you away from a gate or away from the obstacle instead of pushing you into it. That is the main benefit of props out. But some people say it flies better, some people say it doesn't. Honestly, I fly both and I pick props out for free for racing because it pushes you out of the gates when you hit a gate instead of sucking you into it. And freestyle props in because I've been flying props in since I started, except now I'm starting to go into testing props out on freestyle. But anyway, the main point of this video, after so many minutes of rambling, is it dangerous to fly some quads on props in and some prop quads on props out? People say it's dangerous because then you forget what goes with what if you don't have a little system and then what ends up happening is you put the props on wrong and then the quad flips out. Yeah, well, kind of. It is, I believe it's only dangerous if you don't pay attention to what the other props on the quad are doing. So let's just put it this way. If you always run, say, reverse props, that means that when you put the prop on, you know that this side runs counterclockwise, this side runs clockwise, and so on and so forth. But if you only look at that corner, when you switch, let's say you break this prop and you're gonna change only this one and you look at this corner and you know that this front left is always counterclockwise and you have a freestyle quad with you that you have it spinning the other way around and you put the prop on outwards, then yes, it's gonna free flip out because you have one prop going the wrong way of the other compared to the other ones. But that does not have to be like that. If you do your prop mounting in relation to the other props, then it actually isn't dangerous because what happens is you know that this is flying props out, props out, so all your props are where they should be in relation to all of them being props out. What happens if I had set this quad up to be props in and I went and put all my props, props out? Well, it's not going to flip out. The quad won't flip out. All it's gonna do is when I throw it up, it's gonna push itself into the ground. Same thing if the prop, if the, if the quad is set up to be props in, and I forget and I set it up to be and put all the quad, the blades on props out. Again, it's gonna spin in the opposite direction. It's gonna push itself into the ground. So technically, it is not gonna flip out. It is not gonna hit you so long as when you put props on, you check that the relation of the props are correct to each other. In case you forget and you end up putting the props all the way the wrong way, all it's going to do is put yourself against the ground. So, yes, I have cut myself in the past. And I cut myself because I put on a prop the wrong way around. But it had nothing to do with me running quads, sometimes props in or sometimes props out because it was back like a couple of years ago when I was only running props in. And what, what happened is that I wasn't paying attention. I put a prop in, a prop on, and it was in the wrong direction. And back then, I was a little bit, you know, and I was hand launching. Used to, I used to hand launch and catch a lot until I cut myself one day. Pretty bad, and I stopped doing it. Um, and the main reason is that because I put a prop on wrong. But yeah, it, it had nothing to do with what I normally run as far as the direction. I just totally was being careless. So... Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's gonna be a problem, really, if you run some quads props in, some quad props out? Um, if you have a system like me, where 
the freestyle ones go one way, the racing quads go another way. Maybe it's not a problem. Maybe you'll just completely forget every time. Just, yeah, let me know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think as far as the little system I have and whether or not it really is dangerous running some quads one, one way and some quads the other. Apart from that, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Click the bell button so you get notification of my videos and then thumbs up to this video and all the other ones that you watch from me because it really helps my channel. It is growing nicely. The videos are going down very well and every thumbs up you give it helps me a lot. Thanks.